one thing that's called plush collection video. Today I'll be showing all my songs that are called plushes. So we're gonna have different sections. We're gonna go from the Tony to Jack specific to my, my custom plushes to four factors. So the first plush I'm going to start off with is my big head Tony soft green plush. I got this plush in like 2017. It was actually my first ever sock item in general. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, I put him to school, I guess. Still in very good condition. So, I'm just gonna place him over here. So, the next plushie is my second sock plushie. The Tony Collector's Edition Modern Sonic Plush. I like him. I, I, I play with him sometimes. But I know that lots of people want him, so I'm gonna try and keep him in good condition. So yeah, I'm just gonna put him next to the first top four. And then I have the next banger item. Um, the Tony Super Sonic Plush. This plush is amazing. I haven't really used it, so it's in great condition. Well, I did drop it in the stick once, but great condition. Never had to wash it. Put gun right here. All right. Now I think we're moving on to Jack Pacific. So with Jacks, I don't know. I don't really know where to start. So I'm just gonna grab. Uh, 12 inch, 13 inch movie song plush. This movie song plush is pretty good though, though the quality control on it tends to differ. But I think mine has pretty well placed eyes. So, haven't played with them. Still have his box. Not gonna. Uh, Gonna move them a little bit. Alright, now the next question is small size movie sonic plush. Looks kind of goofy. It was either this or the um, classic sonic plush. I originally was gonna give her soap shoes, but mommy told me not to do that. I'm glad she did. But now I have a set of movie sonic plushes, so I'm gonna put them right over there. Oops, I'll play with them sometimes. Movie Knuckles. Now, this is my first Knuckles plush. Crazy, I know. Um, yeah, I really didn't like how this Knuckles looked back then. And yeah, this is what caused me to spend $24 on the Toy Factory Knuckles plush. And yeah, um, got this one on me. Put it in the Sonic. Then I think. We have the best plush of the movie Sonic plush set, Tails. He reminds me a lot of the Jazz Wedge Tails plush. But it's like the Tails. My only gripe is that they're not separated. But otherwise, it's still a pretty good plush. Alright, now we've got a pretty decent one actually. Jack Specific Shadow. It's actually very hard to find shadow merch in Australia, so it's kind of cool that I found this. Got him as a reward for like doing homework and stuff. Oh yeah. Pretty cool freebie. Who the last one left too, so. Then we have my Tails plush. Yeah, this Tails plush. Pretty cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, basically the only one I took because he kind of just looks a bit normal. Got that mega mind ass looking forehead, but still cool. Starting off with the earliest Toy Factory plush I have, Sonic. Now this Sonic plush. 
Yeah, I hit him under the sand once. A bunch of teens stepped on him and laughed at me. And yeah, basically they laughed at me. And then I said to them, thank you. So yeah. Uh, kind of my lesser Sonic plush. I don't know why, it was very well designed. Uh, basically I was playing with that Sonic, Tommy Sonic more, so I guess this one is lesser. I really played with him that much, but still cool. So, yeah. My Knuckles plush. Now this Knuckles plush is my second Knuckles plush. And these are basically all my Knuckles. I only have two Knuckles plushes. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of the uh, GE Knuckles. But yeah, wouldn't wouldn't replace them. However, there are different plushes that I do like of Knuckles, but wouldn't replace them. Factory Shadow. I actually got two shadows. This is the weirdo looking shadow. But yeah. Looks kinda cool. Uh, the feet kinda look like he's in an Egyptian hieroglyphic or something. Yeah. Kind of just there. And we got my other Toy Factory Shadow. This one has a way better face, but his arm's kinda wonky. So, yeah. Nothing much to say. Custom Sonic Caltoy plush. Uh, I got this. I not got. I made this guy a few weeks ago because I just need a Caltoy Sonic plush. I'm actually getting a Caltoy Sonic plush for my birthday slash Christmas, but this is the best I got right now. Here's the three laser layers of rat of flat spikes. Forgot the tail and only has two back spikes. Overall, pretty cool. Kind of a separate entity from Caltoy Sonic. So you're yeah, just gonna do that. Then we have this very, very bad looking Faker Sonic plush. Now, I played with this guy a lot when I was like 2022. You now, like in 2022, when like Friday Night Booking and stuff. But yeah, here's one of my plush next to Skeletor. Very, very, very bad. But hey, we all gotta start from somewhere. And we've got my first truly good plush. The Sonic plush. Uh, the feet are probably the best bit about it. The worst bit about it is definitely the face. If I made the head a bit bigger, it would definitely look way better. As well as individual spikes. It's really annoying to do this because like, and it's a very slippery fabric, but yeah, not too bad. Just gonna put it over here. Dang. Just gonna get a bit big. Move it over here. Alright, now my next question is the Shadow the Hedgehog question that's falling apart. I made it before I actually got these two. So yeah. Never finished it. Quite sad actually. But yeah, it's gonna play some over here. And yeah, the other shadow. Kinda sad that you know we got finished. My first truly good plush. Then we've got this leftover Sonic body. I don't know why I never finished this. I might finish it actually. But yeah, it looks pretty nice. Stitching on is actually really good. I don't know why I scrapped it. Then I have another leftover Sonic body. I used the feet for another Sonic plush that you will soon see. But here is that Sonic plush that I was talking about. The feet from these got reused for these. This is based off the Sega World Sydney Sonic plush. Because when I made this, I was really the Sega World Sydney. The only problem I have with it is that. Oh, dang. The only problem I have with it is that this little piece over here isn't quite well stuffed, so. Yeah. 
especially before I knew how to talk to them. So. Here is my custom Dr. Robotic brush. I only have one other Dr. Robotic brush. And yeah, uh, it's kind of small, so I decided to make this Robotic brush. Yet another version, which looks way, way past that. So I updated it. And I think it's pretty good. So I'm just gonna put them over here. I forgot to include my robotic plush. I forgot to include my Jack's robotic plush. Really, really small. He's really, really small. Like, he's literally the same size as classic tails. Other than that, I thought it was pretty good. And I kind of this abomination. Now, I don't know what I was thinking, but this is what got me into the whole flat spike thing. But yeah, kind of look like Sonic. You can name him, I guess. Very, 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 very badly made. But again, it is what sparked my Sonic craze again. Okay. Now we're moving on the blue ones, right? You didn't know I had those. Oh wait, no. Well, on my... No. Actually. So, I forgot to do the blue ones. Oh. Mighty plush. Ooh, wow. Wow, Bazinga. Ooh, wow, a red plush. This probably is going to come red. Ooh, wow, Bazinga. Alright. Now we can move on to blue ones. So, starting off with blue legs, I got this blue leg shadow plush. I added these finger details and stuff. Pretty cool, I guess. Uh, I use them sometimes. I don't know if I ready to watch series or something. I'm gonna use them as stunt double, so. Yeah. And we got Like some plush from a closing down store. I got them from a store I affectionately call the Naked Gnome store. So they had a Naked Gnome there once. To a car window or something, the Garfield. And yeah, bad. It's based off of Joe Paul or something. And a small set of features. So, first one that I'm gonna review is this Sonic. Got him before that Sonic. Really small, only has two spikes. Very, very weird. I was originally going to give this to a kid, took it for myself and gave him a um, modern Sonic plush from Jacks. Then we have this goofy tail plush, it's actually a reject because as you can see his eyes are actually upside down. But yeah. Then we have this decent looking silver. Kind of good I guess. I don't know how we went from GE silver to this, but it's passable, I guess. You've got that Minecraft looking hand slow. Then we've got this classic Amy. My only Amy plus, sadly. And yeah. And good. Two head spikes again, so yeah. Then we've got two knuckles. Can you spot the difference? Yeah, this one's based on fun for all knuckles. I don't know why there are two different knuckles at the same store, but this was the only one I had of this design. The rest of them were just this goofy knuckles with this very, very weird eye arrow where they forgot to fill in the embroidery, so yeah. They can go right next to each other. So, now it's almost a complete collection, but I only have like two more items. We've got this bootleg tails that I also got in the same store that I got these at. We also had a bootleg Sonic, a bootleg Novels, and a bootleg Super Sonic, and a bootleg Shadow. That's not where I got this bootleg Shadow from, but it looks 
quite similar to the ones that you would find there. This one cannot stick to your window and stuff. He only has a hand screw. But you know, there's a hole in his head. Pretty cool, I guess. Alright, now for the final Sonic Island. Is the Tony Classic Sonic Plush. Now, this classic Sonic Plush came from 1992. It's my first vintage Sonic item. My first, like, vintage item was this Garfield, but my first vintage Sonic item. Once again, I'm gonna inform you that I'm getting Caltoy Sonic for my birthday for like Christmas, so yeah. Gonna collect more rare 90s Sonic items. Next up, I'm thinking about doing a Daffy Sonic. But yeah, uh, I've been devalued because there's no tag. That means I can do whatever I want with them. And yeah, I can just do whatever I want with them because you know, there's no value to it anymore that they like cut off the tag. But yeah, uh, you can like send me some old Sonic plushies. As long as they don't have any like Twitch tag or like the Twitch tags faded, because uh, Super Japan Anime he reviewed a Cowboy Sonic, it had its tag washed out, and he said now it's worthless. And my Cowboy Sonic that I'm getting has a washed out tag, so I'm guessing that was also worthless, and I can play with it. But yeah, trying to keep it in as good condition as possible. And yeah. Now that was the completed Sonic the Hedgehog plush collection. Now I will count how many Sonic plushes I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Okay, so in total, I have 37 Sonic plushes. But then again, I have Sonic figures. Leave a comment if you would want to see that. And that has been this video, so goodbye.